Welcome back guys to another beer review. You're watching All The Beer No Idea. Baz is back with another one for you because he's good like that. Uh, we got a beer now from Amundsen Brewery out of Norway. Picked this up from Trembling Madness. Should have been £7.99, £4.50. That was 40% off, so I thought I'd do it. Now, what I'll do is I'll tell you what the beer is first and then I'll give you some bollocks afterwards. Uh, yeah, what we've got is one of their barrel-aged desserts in a can and this is the coconut chop chip cookie version and it's coming in at 10.5%, no it's coming in at 11.5% actually in a 330ml can, so it's a beast of a beer. Uh, lovely can art there, looks real cool. And as I was going to say was, I tried doing one of its brothers yesterday and it pretty much exploded on me, went everywhere. The cat kept disturbing me, so I caned that video. Hopefully today, this one isn't going to explode on me and the video is going to go a little bit better. So uh, yeah, let's uh, crack it open and see what we get. Please don't explode, you bastard. Oh, it, it started to. Baz was there. Ready for action with it, though. Incidentally, I know I didn't... I didn't put the review out of uh, this barrel-aged stout yesterday, but it was very tasty. Bit boozy, tasted like it was sort of, I'm not sure what the the barrels it's been aged in. I think the one yesterday I would I would have gone for something like brandy, but that was a cherry chocolate ganache and it just, it just felt like that. Anyway, shut up. Right, beer in a glass. A lot more success this time. Uh, a nice finger of tan head on there, quite compact. That is as black as black as black as black can be, isn't it? That's as black as black. Uh, can't see any carbonation going up. Looks lovely. So uh, let's give it a swirl. Dive in on the nose. I can only imagine this is going to be lush. Ooh, that isn't. Oh yeah, you really get that. And, and for once, I can actually really get the coconut in in a beer. I don't tend to pick the coconut up very well in beers, but you can really get it in this. And you get that chocolate chip. I swear, in uh, chocolate chip cookies, there's sort of a coconut thing going on in there when you eat them and when you smell them, and you're really getting that in this. There is absolutely no sign of eleven and a half percent. There's no sign of any alcohol, it just smells of cookies. Coconut, chocolate, and it's got that biscuity aroma in there, if you know what I mean. That you get, there's no sort of barrel age, uh, any any aroma of any sort of barrel age thing in there for me. So uh, without further ado, let's have let's have a successful review and <laughs> dive in anyway. Cheers. Oh wow! Oh. Bit bit too coconutty for me, but saying that, it's fantastic. Oh, let's go in again. Is it too early to be doing doing a, an imperial stout at like three o'clock or something? No, it's not. It's never too early, is it? Hmm. Body's a little bit lighter than I would have expected. Absolute. Smooth as silk. Uh, literally no carbonation there, as you'd expect. Uh, for an Imperial Stout, the fact it's still holding that head really well. Uh, you can see the, if I swirl that around, you can sort of see the alcohol on the side of the glass, sort of like got an oily look about it. Let's get up with the tasting notes. Chocolate. Coconut comes right in there for me. A big hit of coconut. A lovely, at the start you get that chocolate thing. A biscuity, that biscuity taste if you like, comes through with the chocolate. You get knocked in the face by coconut. And then as that wears off, that biscuity sort of thing just continues and it feels really nice. Uh, there's For me, there's there's no sign of any sort of barrel aging in this this beer for me that you normally get a a strong taste of something that's been barrel aged just bear with me for a second uh but you don't get that an 11 and a half percent is absolutely nowhere 
absolutely nowhere. Uh, gets a little bit stronger on the back end, that sort of alcohol. You could call this 6%. You could call this 6%, maybe going up to about 7 on the back end. Uh, really, really nice beer. And if it wasn't so rich, so indulgent, I thought that had gone. <laughs> if it wasn't so rich and indulgent, I think this would be seriously, seriously dangerous. But because it's quite rich, it's quite heavy, if you like, it's indulgent, sort of slows you down a little bit with it. It's got a nice sweetness in there. It's not over sweet. Back end, slightly bitter, maybe a little bit of an inkling of coffee in that bitterness there. But, but yeah, that is an absolute belter. And I'll tell you what, anyone who's thinking of getting these, check out Trembling Madness, see if they've still got them. Because I tell you what, if you like coconut and chocolate chip cookies, you are gonna like that. That is an absolute belter. Uh, does exactly what it says on the can and it gets a thumbs up from me. So uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. I'm getting a bit carried away here. Uh, if you've had it before, if you've had it before, let me know what you think. Feel free to comment. Uh, thank you all for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the review. This one went okay to a certain extent. Uh, and that's it. So I'll see you all again on another beer review. Cheers.